It's CEO here, and today, I'm going to show you how to find your island's money rock. The short answer is, you have to hit all the rocks on your island every day, and whichever rock pops up else is your money rock. But if you want more info, let's jump into the video. A money rock is a rock that spawns bells instead of materials when you hit it, such as stone, iron, clay, and gold. Your island automatically spawns six rocks in random locations. Rocks will never spawn on the beach. When you hit your rocks with a shovel or axe, Materials will pop out in a 3x3 grid around your rock. This means each rock has the potential to spawn 8 items when you hit it. However, you need to quickly hit your rocks 8 times in a row to spawn 8 materials. It's all about the timing. If you don't hit your rock very quickly in succession, your rock will only spawn 1-7 to seven materials instead of 8. Your money rock works in the same way. If you hit it very quickly, bells will pop out in increments of 100, 200, 300, 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, and 8000 bells for a total of 16,000 bells. If you want to make bells fast, definitely find your money rock every day and hit it. If you have good money luck from Katrina, your money rock will double your money and give you 32,000 bells instead of 16,000. If you want to ensure you get the max amount of bells from your rock, dig two holes at the edge of any corner of the 3x3 grid that surrounds your rock. For example, Take a look at where I've dug my holes around my money rock. You can also place items if you don't want to dig holes. I personally like placing items because it's a more permanent solution than digging holes every day. When you save and reload the game, holes will autofill, which means you can't dig a hole and have it sit there day after day. It will disappear. Do not eat any food before harvesting your money rock. Eating food will give you super strength points, and if you hit a rock with these points active, you'll break your rock into pieces. If this happens, you'll only get 8,000 bells instead of 16,000 bells. If you have good money luck, you'll get 16,000 bells instead of 32,000. Since you annihilated your rock, it will spawn in a random place the next day. So if you're farming your money rock every day, it can be annoying having to run around your entire island to find your new rock. If you know where all your rocks are and they stay in the same place, it takes less time to find them. This is why some players create a rock garden, where they strategically break their rocks and force them to spawn in very specific locations. Let me know your thoughts or questions about the money rock in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. A huge thank you to my YouTube channel members for your continued support of me and my channel. All my members get access to these super awesome perks, including I will heart all of your comments on my videos, priority to play with me in Animal Crossing and multiplayer mode when I host live streams, and 24-7 access to my Treasure Island and Catalog Island. My Treasure Island is an island full of items dropped on the ground that you can take, including every crafting material, all DIYs from the 2.0 update, all seasonal DIYs, Nook Mile tickets, and so much more. My Catalog Island has every item you can obtain in your catalog. This is the best and quickest way to get hundreds of items you don't have yet, such as clothing, bags, shoes, and furniture. For more information about cataloging, my tutorial is linked in the description. You can become a member using the link in the description, the card on screen, or the join button on my channel's homepage. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.